I probably should not be showing this because I'm going to get flamed by people who say, why haven't you opened that? It's phenomenal. Or I'll be robbed. But this is Wilbert Harrison, Let's Work Together. If you know the song Let's Work Together, you probably heard the Canned Heat version from 70. This album is also from 70. And at one point it went for 849. I don't know. I got this at a thrift store on North Avenue in the suburb, some suburb of Chicago, Villa Park maybe, uh, for a buck on a cold winter night. And it's supposed to be a great album to the point that um, I think the book is Jimmy Owen, Owen and Gutterman. I don't, you'd have to look it up. But it's called The 50 Greatest Rock Records of All Time or The 100 Greatest. And then they also have a companion volume, The Worst rock records of all time i recommend both of them they're very interesting i think it was from the early 90s uh but the best one has it lists this some of the other albums it lists for example are the sun sessions i think by elvis please please me the beatles um the uh um what is rod stewart's with maggie may that album every picture tells a story i think that's number one i think they do rank it i don't know where this comes in but i very clearly remember seeing this because the jacket that they used for the cover this is before the internet is totally beat up and written on from a radio station um so i'm uh, wondering if if owen or gutterman are seeing this they're probably thinking oh we got to get this guy's album and redo our book our entire book that'd be fine by me um in all seriousness though this is supposed to be a really great album i should actually i'm sure it's online cd somewhere or a used vinyl copy so i can listen to it, but the song selection's pretty good. It was recorded at Juggy Sound Studios, which sounds very familiar, but I'm drawing a complete blank. Maybe I should start doing some research on these, huh, before? And it's got the original version of Let's Work Together, which Wilbert Harrison wrote. He also wrote Kansas City. It's the same guy. Worked with Jimmy Reed. Maybe they didn't work together, they just sounded similar. But there's that, and I like how First of all, engineering and remix, uh, Steve Katz. That's funny because I think that's the same Steve Katz from the Blues, Blues Project. And if you want to see something ridiculous, go online and look up The Great American Dream Machine. That was a show on PBS in the early 70s. And he and his acoustic guitar are singing a song sort of being cynical about America, the way people were in, sometimes in the early 70s. And it's actually quite good. It's comedic, it's well done, it's interesting, kind of touching. But if that's the same Steve Katz, it's pretty interesting. And I also like how there's no credits for the musicians except for bass. Thunder Thumb. My guess is that that means James Jamerson, who did not play with his fingers. He played with his thumb, right? Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong. I'm sure I'll get corrected and scolded, and I'll have to take this video down if I was wrong about that. But uh, there's Wilbert Harrison's Let's Work Together, marked down for by $7.50 for me. When I bought it, still sealed, and um, probably will always stay sealed.